2,700 years ago, God gave a message to a man named Micah. But you, Bethlehem, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from us old, from everlasting. <coughs> God also gave messages to Nick, a man named Isaiah about his plan. The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall his name Emmanuel. For unto a child hath been born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called um, Wonderful. <laughs> Counselor?
Jesus was coming, but he wasn't coming the way most expected. He certainly wasn't coming the way a young woman named Mary must have thought 
Mary thought he would come. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the, an the angel said to her, Rejoice highly, favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed you are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his sin and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said, to her. Mary, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his, of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angels, How can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God.
Mary must have thought it certainly was a strange way for God to save the world, but nine months later she would find out just how strange it would be. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. So all went to be taxed, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judah, Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his engaged wife, who was with, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
Jesus was born in a stable because no one seemed to care enough about his birth to make room for him. People didn't care, but heaven sure did. Heaven filled the night air around Bethlehem with an angelic chorus that announced the birth of Jesus to some unsuspecting people. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to him, Don't be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a Multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying,
shepherds were at cast, the scared members of society. But God entrusted them with the message of the birth of his son. For the first time, the shepherds had something to celebrate. Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Joshua Meyer was also back. 